right y'all so i stopped in at walgreens this isn't my usual walgreens but we're gonna go in here anyway and see what we can make happen today just some quick and easy digital deals like i said this isn't my usual store so i don't even know the layout of the store i didn't bring any coupons i was just in the neighborhood saw walgreens and felt like going inside so let's what? go are you serious no the lights are all on everything but the doors aren't opening y'all and i got prescription in there i have to get today what oh my gosh y'all the um the lights are on it says it's open there's cars in the parking lot but the doors are not opening y'all that's kind of creepy right what if it's like a robbery <laughs> that's crazy no like what if what if it's a robbery or something like that Sorry? what if it's a robbery or something oh, I know. did that cross your mind already yeah okay okay so i'm leaving that's a weird situation to be in maybe they're having something anyway i'm not about to be that one crazy person that stays all right y'all so i'm at the next walgreens because that last one was just a little sketchy so your girl decided to leave they were probably just having a meeting or something i don't know but it was still weird all right so let's get started with this quick deal that we're gonna do the first thing we're gonna get is gonna be the colgate toothpaste it's 2.99 and there's a deal attached when you buy two you get two dollars back in walgreens points and those points are like actual money so basically you get two dollars back buy two get two dollars back now when we buy two that's 5.98 right we don't want to pay that so we have this coupon for four dollars off so we're at two for 5.98 but we're going to use this coupon and it's going to take off four dollars and this coupon can be found right here on the walgreens app so we're at $5.98, the coupon takes off $4. That brings us down to pay at the register, $1.98. So we pay $1.98 at the register, but according to this tag, we're going to get $2 back. So we're gonna pay $1.98 out of our pockets, but we'll get $2 back. So if you wanna do what I'm doing, go ahead and pick up two of these, clip this coupon on the Walgreens app, and we're ready to move on to the next item so the next deal we're going to do is going to be right here check out this tag it says get five dollars back when you buy three or more participating crests so we see a lot of different deals going on here we see this one for five thousand points but we don't want to do those make sure you're focused on the ones right here that say get five dollars back when you buy three because those are the ones that we are getting this is the deal that we're focused on so i'm going to get three of these at 3.99 each and I'm gonna use this coupon for $5 off. We're gonna get three for $3.99 each, and then we're gonna use this coupon for $5 off. So if you want the math on that, we're getting three, and that comes out to $11.97, but we're gonna use that $5 off coupon, that brings us down to $6.97 at the register, but we'll get $5 back. So I'm gonna put this in with my Colgate deal, I'm going to do both of them at the same time and then we'll just be expecting to get that money back so if you want to do what i'm doing make sure you have two of the colgate and then make sure you have three of the crest and let's head to the register and see how much we'll pay and how much we're going to get back all right so that transaction went perfectly i got the two colgate and the three crest my total came out to 895 plus tax which is what i expected so i paid 895 but i got five dollars back which is like cash money that i can spend right now i got five dollars back for buying the crest and then i got two dollars back you can see right here i got two dollars back for buying the colgate so the money for the colgate will come back on your card like points it's still two dollars that you can just go and spend any type of way but it just comes back on your walgreens card like points but the five dollars from buying crest comes back in paper money so we got a total of seven dollars back five dollars here and two dollars there so now that i have seven dollars back i'm definitely going to go spend that so now that we have seven dollars back i definitely want to spend that seven dollars but i also want to spend it on a deal that will give us back even more money so i'm over here looking at this deal i'm going to show you a close-up of the tag a lot of people like to read the tags for themselves so it says buy two of these revlon products any revlon products really but buy two and get five dollars back well these little Revlon Kiss Balms are only $3.49. If we buy two of these, that comes out to $6.98. And we have $7. So I'm thinking I'll buy two of these for $6.98, which is pretty much $7. And I'll use the $7 that we earned to pay for it. And according to this tag, we'll get another $5 back. So I'm going to grab two of these, pay with the money we just earned, and we're still going to get another $5 back. 
Okay, so that transaction went by so fast and it was so perfect. Okay, so I got the two Revline, just like we talked about, $349 each. Now right here where it says manufacturer coupon, that was just me handing over my $5 in paper money. Remember we had $5 in paper money, I handed that over and that shows up just like this. So that came off and it left me with $198 to pay plus 49 cents Florida tax. So I had 198 left to pay and I said, excuse me, can I use $2 in points? And she was like, of course. And so I used $2 in points. So it came out to free plus tax. So I only had to pay 47 cents in tax. That's all I had to pay. But this transaction was free except for the tax. So it should work out perfectly for you because it worked out perfectly for me. And on top of all of that, not only was it free, but I got another $5 bag. So now I have yet another $5 bag. I'm definitely going to spend this. I'm not sure how yet. I'm thinking about doing the Crest deal again with this $5 because I have more Crest coupons on my account that would make that a really great deal again. But I'm also thinking, I kind of want to do something else and get out of here because I have a lot of sales I want to hit. So I might just do something that lets me get out of here, something that doesn't keep giving money back because the more money I get back, the more I want to go spend it again. So I'm thinking of just getting something simple that will let me get out of the store and that won't give more money back. So let's just look around and see what we can come up with. So we got back another $5 on that last deal. We got back another $5 and I'm just over here on the paper products aisle thinking about how I want to spend it because there are some really good deals right here on this aisle. These Kleenex, this three pack, $5 and there's a $1.25 off coupon on the Walgreens app. So that's one good idea. And then I'm looking at some more, a lot of stuff is gone, but I'm looking at some other deals like the Scott paper towels. I love paper towels, y'all. I know a lot of people think they're useless that you can just use a cloth or something, but I love paper towels. They're so convenient for me. $5 and there's a $1.25 off coupon on the Walgreens app, making them only $3.75. I have five bucks to spend. I'm really thinking I'm going to spend at least $3.75 on this. I'll use that Walgreens coupon on the app for $1.25 off and I'll get these for $3.75. This is looking like it for me. I really like this. So if we have $5 and I'm spending $3.75 of it on the paper towels, that leaves me with $1.25 left to spend. <sighs> it's really hard for me not using that $5 to like roll into yet another deal and getting more money back. But sometimes you just got to know when to call it a day and say, I think I've gotten a good deal already. There's no need for me to like live in the store. So they have a couple 99 cent steals. And since I have $1.25 left to spend out of that $5, I think I'm going to spend 99 cents of it over here on these little facial tissues. These always come in handy. Maybe I should get the small ones for my car. I'll get this size. I like this size. So that leaves me with like 25, 26 cents left. And they have 49 cent school supplies. I'm thinking maybe I'll do that, but I wanna look around and see if I can find something just a little bit cheaper, like something close to 25 cents to really get close to spending just that $5. Y'all check this out. They have these little mini highlighters, which I think are super cool by the way, for only 29 cents each if you buy one. They're five for a dollar, but I'm just gonna get one. That's 29 cents each. That's exactly where I wanna be to spend that $5. I really didn't wanna to go too far over. I mean, do what makes sense for you. These are 29 cents, but they really do have some good stuff for 50 cents, y'all, and 49 cents. So if you need pens, you might wanna look at these for 49 cents or something like that. But really, I don't really need any of it. I'm just trying to spend my full $5. So that's why I'm actually getting something, but they have folders, lots of really good school supplies for the cheap. Okay, so I have everything that I'm gonna get. I have the Scott paper towels, I have that little highlighter, and then I have the facial tissue. That comes out to just over $5, and then I have this $5 that I'm gonna pay for. Now, I'm not using very many coupons. I only have this one on the Walgreens app for $1.25 off of the Scott. That's all I'm using. So all of this was digital coupons. We didn't even have to use that many digital coupons. It was only like a few. What was it like? three digital coupons for everything. So I'm going in live right now. I'm gonna check out and we'll see how this turns out. Okay, so this is everything I got for the entire day, y'all. I think this is about 10 items. I'll have to count, but I think this is about 10 items. And let's talk about how everything worked out. Now that last receipt, my total came out to three cents. So three cents was all I had to pay plus tax, three cents for that last transaction. That was with the Scott paper towels and the tissue. 
that came out to only three cents then let's start with the first transaction the first transaction came out to 8.95 plus tax so 8.95 that was my out of pocket for the first transaction the second transaction was free plus tax so 8.95 free three cents so our total for all of these items is like under nine dollars we paid 8.98 for everything and i think that was a really good deal because i was in here really quickly in and out in a few minutes and we got 10 items all digital coupons for under ten dollars that was the bomb i'm proud of that so this is definitely a beginner deal anybody can do this this is super easy super beginner of course if you're advanced once you get the five dollars back from the revlon kiss balm you might want to go roll it back into another toothpaste deal get some extra toothpaste just because you can for no reason at all just because it'll be free free ish and then you'll get another five dollars back and then you might want to roll that into something else because there are a couple good deals up in here today but me i'm just in here just showing deals so i didn't want to be in here all day but there's some good stuff going on in walgreens but this deal i think this was pretty good 8.95 plus three cents so i'll just say nine dollars so nine dollars for everything nine dollars for ten items i think we did really good i'll see you guys on the next video occ gang i'm out <laughs>